Hey guys, I'm Lugina, and welcome to Tread Chic. I'm so happy to have you here for a 20 minute beginner treadmill workout. We're going to take it slow, we're gonna have a good time, and I hope you enjoy it. For those that are new to my channel, welcome. For those of you that have been here with me, I appreciate you and I thank you for your support. All right, are you ready to go? Five minute warm up, and I'll tell you about everything. Let's go, incline one to start. All right, well, as a beginner, um, or for those of you that just want to have this as a cool down, or for my seniors that are using this workout, I want you to really believe that with every step, you're getting stronger and stronger. This is your workout, and so below you'll see um, a range of the paces, because all of, some people are at different levels, uh, some are have different stride lengths, so someone who's taller may be able to go at a faster pace than someone who might be shorter for myself, for instance. So someone that may, may be at a fast walking pace at 2.5, that may be like a 4.0 for someone else. So I want you to cater this to you, okay? Like my shirt says, I'm a runner, you know, and so I respect my run, respect my walk, respect my pace. And so whether you're going at a 15 minute mile and someone else is going at a 25 minute mile, you, it's your race, it's your pace, this is your workout, and I want you to be proud of what you're doing and not to compare yourself to what someone else is doing. So you choose a pace that works for you, and each day with each step, you're getting stronger and stronger. Where today, 2.0 might be, whew, and maybe next in another month or two, you may be at 2.5, then, then 3.0. Okay, so remember with consistency, with each step, you're getting stronger and stronger, okay? Now, I am very excited about this workout, and I think it's gonna be a good mix where you'll feel a bit, you'll feel challenged, and you'll also feel like, you know what, you can do this, okay? We're gonna be, start off after our five minute warm up here, we're gonna be at an incline, we're gonna sit incline one for one minute, then move to incline two for two minutes, three for three minutes, four for four minutes, then an additional minute, then back down to incline three, okay, for two minutes, two for three minutes, and then incline one for four minutes, okay? So that's 20 minutes, and then you'll be done, okay? So, let's shrug our shoulders back. Let's get ready to have a good workout. All right, forward, all right. Turn around and stretch. All right. All right, now I'm gonna put my weights on. And I also have my watch on. And for me, I usually just put it right, no, right behind it there, so it works out pretty well. Again, you do not have to use weights. It's what's right for you. Soup cans, can whatever you have, you can use if you like, if you don't have um, weights. I'll link the information below for these if you are, for those of you that are interested. All right? All right. Remember, as we walk, when we walk, our arms can be, you know, like this, but as we take that stance and we're working out, we're gonna have you have your arms at 90 degrees, we're gonna stand tall. So we're talking about all of those things to make sure you're getting the most out of your workout, okay? And so that you can grow to be um, great. So that you, as you begin here, and then continue to build and become stronger and stronger, those tips will help you so that you remain injury free, so that you go into this journey the right way, or you continue to do things the right way. Because again, some of you may be using this video as a, for other things as well, okay? All right, has a cool down day, et cetera, et cetera. All right, so about a minute and 20 seconds before we head into this workout, okay? Now I want you to be at a nice, a pace that is not too fast, right in the middle, we'll start off, and then you can build as you go. I want you to get comfortable. I don't want you to do too much too soon, okay, if you're not feeling comfortable yet. For those of you that are comfortable, yes, if you're ready. But for those of you of my beginners, I want you to really just take it easy and build bit by bit, okay, so that you feel like, you know what, I can come back and do this again, all right? So, in the middle of this, I don't want you to over-challenge yourself where you feel like, ah, it's just too much. Take it easy, bit by bit, and we'll increase as we go. But you've got this, okay? All right. I'm gonna breathe, take a deep breath in through your nose and out hard through your mouth three times. Oh. 
Nice job. Nice job. Relax your shoulders, okay? We're gonna stand tall as if someone is holding us up with a string, okay? So tall, chest is, you're gonna set that back. We're gonna lean forward with our chest, all right? And we are starting in approximately five seconds. Are you ready to get this workout done? So this part is gonna be 20 minutes, and let's go. All right? Great work. 90 degree arms, watch those shoulders. We're standing tall, and we'll be here for one minute. Then we're moving up to incline two, okay? We're keeping the incline short as we go into this, all right? Watch your pace. Comfortable. Great job. Breathe. Now, when we walk, we wanna make sure that it's heel to toe, heel to toe, heel to toe. So you're rolling, heel to toe, heel to toe, okay? So some of you that may try to get dip and dabble with running, sometimes they tell you, most times they tell you to be on the ball of your feet. That's different with that walk, okay? We're headed to incline two in less than five seconds. I know you can do this, we're gonna take it slow. And let's go. Incline two, you can do this. 20 minutes, and maybe you keep your pace slower. Again, this is your walk, okay? Your walk. I want you to stay focused on each step and how you're putting power behind each step. How you gonna get stronger, stay consistent, because that is the most important thing. When we're starting our journeys, a lot of time, a lot of times we, some of us are unrealistic with these goals. Like you say, this week, I'm gonna work out every day, okay? I'm gonna work out every single day, and then you're, you get exhausted, and you feel like it's just, it's too much, and then you end up stopping. You don't, sometimes you don't even just take it down a bit, so a lot of people just stop altogether. So we're not doing that, you know? We're gonna stick with things. We're gonna work on what's best for you, what you enjoy. You may not always be on the treadmill. You may be by riding your bike, or going for a walk outdoors, or going swimming. But what we cannot do is stop. This fitness journey, you hear me say this all the time, is a lifelong thing. It should be non-negotiable. This is something that our bodies need, okay? So I want you to make sure you try your best to plan and start bit by bit. If you're a beginner, maybe starting off with two days a week, then the following week, three days. And when you're ready, four days. And then you start adding in strength training, okay? So bit by bit, you don't have to do everything at one time, all right? Okay, we're headed to incline three. I want you to monitor your speed, okay? Three, two, one, incline three. We'll be here for three minutes. If you need to take down your speed, I want you to do that, but I know that you can do this, okay? All right, we'll be here for three minutes. Arms 90 degrees, getting our groove on. Look at those arms, okay? Breathe, getting those feet. Heel to toe, heel to toe. We're not over striding. Okay, we're not overstriding. We're keeping our steps nice and quick, okay? Nice turnover. Not doing too much, we're not doing this. And we're not, we don't wanna pound. All right, we definitely don't wanna pound. We're exerting too much energy, and that again can lead to injury, all right? We'll breathe, breathe. Let's go. We've got it. Two minutes left. Stand tall, all right? Like the queen or the king that you are. Stand tall and own this. And know that I have, I'm getting this, I'm getting this done. I am strong. I'm working towards better habits. I'm working on taking care of myself. I'm working on being consistent, all right? I'm here for you and we're stronger together. Fist bump, got you, all right? And if you like, you can increase if you can. Monitor your body. 
Like I said, as you continue to do this, you'll realize, oh my gosh, I'm getting, I can do this without, you know, breathing too heavy or, you know, I feel stronger when I get through this. And then you can move on to the more advanced workouts, okay? So day by day, all right? But celebrate even the smallest of things that you think may be small, celebrate them, okay? And be proud, all right? This is gonna fly by. We have less than a minute here. Then we're headed to incline four. We're gonna be at incline four for five minutes, okay? Five minutes. And then we're headed back down, all right? Great work. Then again, monitor your speed, okay? You may be going at a slower pace. You are monitoring, you are doing, going at your pace, okay? Maybe at that 2.0 or less if you need to, all right? You can do this, all right? You got it, step by step. In 10 seconds, we're headed to incline four. I want you to stay focused. This is the highest that we're going. You already have this. You can do this. Let's go. Incline four, okay? You might say, oh my gosh, she has me in incline four, five minutes. So let me tell you, you're gonna shock yourself. You've got this. You're there, all right? We've got it. Great work. Good job. Be here for five minutes, okay? The only reason why it's five is because, again, in kind one was one minute, then two minutes, then three minutes, then this one is four minutes, and then we'll stay here for that additional minute, and then we'll inc start increasing again. So four, one, two, three, four coming up, and then four, one, two, three, four going down the hill, okay? So that's why it's five minutes here. Focus, focus, breathe, focus. You're on this hill, you're conquering it. We didn't come here to play games. We came here to show that I'm a beginner or I'm a senior or I'm someone who just wants to try this out. I'm getting through it. We may have had a, a heavy week of heavy running and you're doing this one. Whatever you're using it for, I'm happy you're here with me. And I'm proud of you. Especially for my beginners that are really getting into it. All right, I believe in you. I believe that you're gonna be consistent. Come on. Let's go. Arms on the degrees. Let's posture check. Make sure we're standing tall. Leaning forward with our chest, shoulders. Or not slumped over, but upright. All right, arms 90 degrees. We're not crossing them. We're not stomping. Quick steps. Give your console some space. You don't need to be on it. You don't want to be like this, up tall. All right. Great work. Got it. Breathe. Almost there. Remember to hydrate. Go us, go us, we've got it. Hey, let me see you looking strong. Yes, I look strong too. Thank you. Pose, pose everyone, pose. <laughs> if, you didn't, if you're new to my video, you're gonna know that I'm very silly. All right. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. Breathe. Great work. We're already almost at that four minute mark. Just like that. Remember, we're gonna stay for that additional minute. You recover. Great work. You pause me at any time, okay? 
to hydrate, stretch, whatever you need to do. Just come back. I know you've got this. All right. Good job. One more minute left. Yes, you did it. We're doing it. All right. It worked. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. We got it, 20 seconds. And then we're headed down to incline three for two minutes, okay? You are done with the most difficult part. All right, let's keep working. You with me? Let's do it, okay? Three, two, and one incline three. Woohoo! great work. We're here for two minutes. It work. And tall posture check. Own this, and as you get better with this, you can do this maybe twice in order if you need like a longer workout, okay? So I just wanna remind you, beginning to make sure you're fueling your body the right way as well, because we need to fuel it with those good, whole, some foods. Okay, so your fruits, your veggies, your legumes, nuts and seeds, your good, your grains, okay? Leaving the processed stuff away. If you look at a box and the ingredients are just ridiculous, it's probably not right for you, okay? And everything in moderation. Just can't be eating those things all, those processed foods all the time. It's just not right for our bodies to do the right things for it. And it's deteriorating our bodies when we advise, we have too many of the processed, ultra processed foods. Okay, so we need to do better because a lot of these foods and what we don't work out, at least so many diseases, illnesses, cardiovascular issues that we could do, avoid, even dementia, all of these things that we can either delay or avoid by incorporating the right lifestyle. We're not doing these unrealistic diets. Okay, we're headed to incline two. Great work, we're here for three minutes. Okay, increase that speed. Let's go. If you can, of course, okay? So we wanna have a realistic thing. These diets where we, many of us start and it's, they're so unrealistic, you can't maintain it and then you come off and then you gain even more because you just splurge do all these things. So having something that you can add into your lifestyle, being realistic with it, but fueling your body again with those good, wholesome foods, okay? that have the least amount of ingredients. Like fruit, one ingredient. Veggies, one ingredient. Your proteins that are maybe your fish, your wild caught salmon, or um, your, your lean chicken and grass fed beef, or any of those things, just one ingredient. You shouldn't have tons, nuts and seeds, all of those things. Um, I also have a list of foods in my shop that you can purchase to see all the whole foods that you can incorporate into um, your lifestyle, okay? So I'll leave the link below if you'd like to, to check that out, all right? All right. We are doing it, yes! Woohoo! And see, and then you'll know that I talk a lot. The time just goes by faster, I'm telling you. <laughs> all right, but yeah, so let's take care of our bodies, strong bodies, strong minds, let's love ourselves. And as you get more comfortable with the strength training, adding that at least two times a week, total body strength. I also have some strength training videos on my channel and there are tons across um, YouTube that can go along with what you're looking for, okay? Just don't neglect that. Just cardio is not it. We have to combine 
the cardio is the strength and then fueling our bodies the right way. Taking it bit at a time, not overwhelming yourself, okay? All right, how you doing? Good, we have just one minute left here and then we're headed to incline one for four minutes and then we are done, okay? So proud of you, so proud of us getting this done, all right? You know, I've been running for a little over 23 years. And um, when I started, I was walking. My dad got me into just taking care of my, my body and walking. And that helped me so much and I got into running bit by bit. And I just loved it. For those of you that may be interested in going into running or wanting to look into that, I have an 11 week Journey to 5K program where we go from running for like 30 seconds all the way to a 5K, a 3.1 3 miles. So check that out if you'd like to start doing that, okay? Three, two, and then one, incline one. We are here, we are awesome. All right, great work. Again, hydrate at any time, okay? Stronger with every single step. This one, we got it, great work. Okay, we're not pounding too hard. We're not pounding light on our feet, okay? We're not over striding, not doing this, not doing this, short, quick steps, okay? Keeping that stride short, okay? Smaller strides. It work. Keep going. You got it. We're almost there. All right. And we did it. You did it. Following this video, I will link at the top a 20 minute stretch. Please make sure you cool down afterwards. Some videos I do incorporate it. Today I'm gonna let you cool down. So walk a little bit more on the treadmill for like five more minutes to cool down. Do some stretching, okay? Again, I will link a video with static stretches um, up here towards the end, okay? So that you can do that if you like to stretch, get more of a stretch. You don't have to do the whole thing. Just incorporate some or do your own. Just make sure that you stretch, okay? And you cool down before you go about your day. All right? You got it? Breathe. Now the reason I heard, you talk, heard me talk about dynamic, heard me talk about static stretches. Dynamic versus static. So let me tell you, in the beginning before you work out, you can walk like we did, or you can, do, you can also do dynamic stretches. That's flowy types of movement, where your legs, you're going back and forth with your legs um, to sort of stretch it out. You're not holding it. Like a lot of times when people start to work out, they'll put their, you know, hold their um, leg and they'll bring their, the back of their leg up to their glutes and stretch it out or hold your muscles like this. This is a more of a static stretch. These are the movements that we do at the end of a workout when our body is warmed up. Because if you think of a stick of spaghetti, before it's boiled, if you do like this, it snaps, right? If you try to stretch it, it snaps. Think of your body like that when it's cold. If you just start holding things like this, over time, that can cause issues. So you wanna make sure you do more dynamic before you work out, okay, and static towards the end. Because think of that spaghetti after it's boiled and warmed up. You can do whatever you want with it, right? So think of your body like that. All right, so in the beginning of your working out when your body's cold, dynamic, when you warmed up, and static stretches, okay? I hope that helps. 
just to understand the difference between the two. With that said, we have less than 10 seconds left. I'm so proud of you. I appreciate you working out with me. All right, and woohoo! All right, make, make sure you continue to cool down, okay, so that you're, like we talked about, and stretch and get those stretches in. I thank you so much for working out with me. Please let me know if you have any questions. Let me know what you thought of this beginner workout if you'd love to see some more, okay? We're gonna get you there, beginner soon. You'll be way past that, I'm proud of you. Remember, with every step that you take, to spread more love, joy, and positivity. I'll see you in the next video. Bye, mwah, bye. To your love. Grass isn't greener on your side. You're wishing we were together, but I'm not.